Do you know those street hustlers who quickly move a coin under three cups while the crowd is trying to follow and guess under which cup the coin has landed? Well, follow closely as one leaf transforms into a small plant. I'm going to duplicate my leaf. And from the adjustment menu, I'm choosing the Hue Saturation Brightness Editor. Sliding the brightness bar to the left changes the leaf to darker shades. Next, I'm tapping the Transform tool. I can rotate the leaf with the little green handle at the top of the selected area, and then pinch the leaf with two fingers to scale it down. I'll continue to edit the original leaf, duplicate and transform the new layer, then edit its colors. This time, let's get it to half as dark as we did before. I'm going to drag this leaf all the way under my original leaf because I would like for it to seem like it's shaded while the original leaf appears closer to the light source. As I use the transform tool to rotate my leaf, I can reposition the leaf with one finger or the pencil and this will not affect its size. Or I can use two fingers touch and pitch to reshape and reposition the leaf in a free form. Something to keep in mind is that you can scale down the leaf but never scale it up. If you want a larger leaf I'd suggest you draw a new and bigger one because scaling it up will lose resolution and appear pixelated. In the transform tool we have options in the second row. We can rotate an image in 45 degrees segments or flip it. I'm going to flip it horizontally and rotate it to create a slight version of itself. I'm using the pencil to reposition the leaf as I want to keep its size. I want my darkest leaf to appear at the bottom of this small plant that I'm creating, so I continue to duplicate and edit new leaves in the same way as before. And at the end, I will have three distinctive types of shading, light, intermediate and dark. But the topmost leaf is darker because I would like for it to stand out and that's an artistic choice. Here is a quick tip. You can tap and select a layer directly on the canvas for a quicker workflow. And this is a gesture that I use a lot as I work. You can always pick a layer from the layer menu, but this way is much quicker. <laughs> 